So logo is a very interesting program which we can use to draw things, create sounds, um, do calculations and few other um, things. So we've known the graphic screen, we know that this is the turtle's home or the turtle's what? Playground. Okay, so you can actually give commands to this turtle in the input box. Now look at the input box. This is the input box. The input box is where you give commands to the turtle. Now we have one uh, window called the commander window. Now look at where you have this commander. Okay, I don't know, it's not the army commander, it's just the turtle commander. You can see that we have the commander window. The commander window, we have so many things over here. We have the input box in the com commander word uh, window. So the commander window keeps a list of commands carried out by the turtle. The commander window keeps a list of commands carried out by the turtle. If you make a mistake, a message appears. Now, if we make mistake, if we, if we give the wrong command, a message will appear. The turtle will say, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay? So we see all this in action. Now below the commander window is a record list, a record list box. It keeps a record of the instruction which you type in the input box, okay? The record list box, okay? So we have our input box, we have our record list. This is the record list box. Then this is the commander word window. Then we also have the command buttons. We can see the command buttons, minimize, maximize or restore, close, hot, trace, pause, status step reset okay reset okay this is fine now if we type our command after typing our command we can click execute if we click on execute it's going to draw whatever we want it to draw or we can just press the enter key on our keyboard enter key on the word keyboard so we have the command buttons that are found at the right right corner of the command buttons or, or commander window okay that is found at the right part of the commander window so we have the execute button the execute button by clicking on the execute button we can run a command which is typed in the input box then we have the step button the step button turns on single stepping for debugging the step button turns on single stepping for debugging your program. You can turn single stepping on or off. You can turn single stepping on or off. You can turn single stepping on or off. So, you can turn single stepping on or off even when the logo is running. Even when logo is running single stepping for debugging can be turned on okay now i've used a term called debugging what is debugging debugging means removing error from a program and an error in a program is called a bug an error in a program is called a bug now the process by which we remove these errors from the program is what debugging the process by which we remove errors from our program is called debugging. Now, as a programmer, as we start writing programs, as we start writing code, or we st start playing around with our turtle, we are bound to make some mistakes. We are bound to make some mistakes. Maybe we use some syntaxes that are not correct, that the uh, turtle doesn't understand, that the logo doesn't understand. It will flag an error that it doesn't exist or it will give you whatever command that is there. So the process by which we remove errors from our program is called debugging. So an error in a program is called a bug. An error in a program is called a bug. The next thing we want to look at is the pause button. We have the pause button. The pause button helps us to top stop the execution of the logo program temporarily. Just like the way you pause your music, if you're watching movie or uh, uh, seeing uh, musical videos, you can pause it, you can continue. So it stops execution of the program temporarily and you can continue by clicking back the start button for it to um, go on. We have the reset button. The reset button helps to clear the logo output screen. The reset button, now, whatever that has